In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at my two all-time favorite keyboards. Uh, at the top, you're looking at the Happy Hacking Keyboard Professional 2, commonly abbreviated as HAKB Pro 2. And on the bottom, you're looking at the IBM Space Saving Keyboard from around 1991. Um, so the top is a currently manufactured available model. The bottom one is no longer made in, in this um, factor, form factor. Um, but they're both uh, both my top keyboards. And in fact, I can't pick a favorite. I like them both. Um, you know, they're both different. And obviously, you can see the form factor on each of them is different. Um, but I can use either one equally, and I like them both equally. Both of them are clicky keyboards and have, you know, a tactile feel. Uh, of course, the Model M has buckling spring, which is a, quite a clicky and quite tactile um, feel. And the springs on the Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro 2 are Topre uh, key switches, um, which also are clicky and have a real rugged feel, um, but a little bit quieter than the more clicky and rugged uh, IBM. Now, as you can see, there's definitely a size difference here. Let me sort of move this one in line here with the left edge. And you can definitely see the size difference here. Obviously, the Happy Hacking Keyboard is much, much smaller. Um, very, very small and compact, yet it can do all the same stuff. Like it has embedded keys with this function key here. It has like the arrow keys and stuff, but you have to press the function key. Um, I like this one in terms of the ergonomics, the one on top, the Happy, Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro 2, uh, a little bit better. And I think I can probably demonstrate that because, let me move this out of the way for a second here, the IBM. On the Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro 2, if I put my magic trackpad next to it, um, hopefully you can kind of see that as I'm typing, it's right next to me and much more in line with my body. So, you know, I'm typing and I can just use the trackpad and just real easily, it's just everything's real compact, real close within fingers reach. Um, so I'm just sitting here typing and, you know, I can just go over here and I don't have to reach very far to get to the magic trackpad. Contrast that with this one, which is also a space-saving keyboard. I mean, it doesn't have the number keypad here on the right, which most Model Ms do or most other keyboards do. So it does help, it is better. Um, I don't like having a key separate number keypad on the right because it makes the keyboard just too big, too long on the right um, and much more hard to reach. You end up having to reach with your arm quite a lot and you can get a lot of wrist and arm strain that way. So this keyboard does bring it in from the normal Model M keyboard. Um, it's certainly more compact and small, which is sort of the idea behind it. But as you can see, it's still much bigger. And as I'm typing on it, to reach over to the mouse, it's a longer reach. I have to reach through all this area as well as some border here. So, you know, in terms of someone, if you use your trackpad or mouse a lot, um, I do still notice it, even on this one. Like I said, this one is definitely an improvement over full-size keyboards. However, Comparing it to the Happy Hacking keyboard, it's just not as compact. That being said, the IBM Model M keyboard to me has a much better tactile feel, even though this one is still a great feel and is uh, still nice and tactile and has the Topre keys, which, is, which I really like and which seem really durable and really nice. The Model M, I still think can't be beat. I have a feeling model, um, IBM engineers, when they were designing when they were first designing the Model M keyboards, really probably did a ton of research and put a lot of money into uh, keyboards and what makes good keyboards and what makes people like typing on keyboards and what makes them feel good to type on because um, I think it's, you know, maybe, maybe they were using a typewriter as a model, um, you know, to make it feel more like a typewriter or something like that. But, You know, this one is just great to type on. It's just, it's, it's like makes typing fun, you know? Um, so in terms of the feel, I certainly prefer the uh, IBM Space Saver. But in terms of like um, ergonomics and space issues, especially if you don't have like a lot of space or, you know, if you use your mouth a lot, um, I think the Happy Hacking can't be beat. Another benefit is the Happy Hacking keyboard is currently available. It's a current model that you can actually buy. Whereas uh, the Model M Space Saver is very hard to find right now. It's sort of, sort of, sort of like a collector's item at this point. Um, so it can be a little bit difficult to find. But I wanted to do this video just for people who are interested because, again, these are my two top keyboards, my two favorite keyboards. 
and I uh, just wanted to do a video talking about some of the pros and cons of each one. Uh, I forgot to mention also on the Happy Hacking keyboard, the key out, keyboard layout is a little different. Like you don't have the uh, caps lock key right here. Instead you have the control key here. Um, also the backspacer, the, the delete key is right above the return key. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, to that um, layout. Uh, you know, your delete key is here and rather than on this one, it's way up here. You know, it's not right above the enter key or the return key. So, you know, it takes getting used to this keyboard. Um, but I find that I can use them interchangeably now. Um, I'm sort of used to each of them. I just have to remember which keyboard I'm on. Um, occasionally you'll end up, you know, if you switch, you'll end up hitting the wrong key sometimes, like the delete key by accident. You'll end up hitting up, if you're on this keyboard, you'll end up hitting this key instead because you're just so used to it being here. Um, but after you get used to them, it's not too bad. And, you know, a lot of programmers um, like the happy hacking keyboard because the control key is in the same position that it would be on Unix uh, operating systems generally, um, which is right here. And you end up getting used to that. Um, so it's kind of nice. Um, they're both great keyboards and, you know, they're different. And I think celebrating the differences is um, what's really fun about this. And like I said, it's hard for me to choose uh, my favorite one out of these two, but these are definitely my two top ones. Thanks for watching this video and any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave them. And if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and also make sure to like it as well with the little thumbs up button. See you in my next video.